and a good morning to you. It is 4.30 on this Thursday, March 9th. I'm Antoinette Antonio. And I'm Doug Meehan. Randy's off this week. Breaking right now on the eye-opener, challenging the travel ban. The first lawsuit against the president's new plan filed in federal court. The opposition from Hawaii this morning. Sponsors threatening to pull out of an annual tradition, a gay veterans group banned from Boston St. Patrick's Day Parade, the emergency vote that is now planned. Hiring more help, the mayor of Lawrence planning to take action after a deadly shooting of a teenager. All right, we have winter making its return this morning. Storm watch is up right now for parts of the state. Cindy, what are we looking at here for today? Yeah, for today, things are going to be quiet in terms of... Alyssa, thank you. Right now, South Boston's famed St. Patrick's Day Parade is facing major backlash tied to a controversial vote. That vote shutting out an LGBTQ veterans group in this morning. Some big sponsors are threatening to pull out. The Eye Opener, Sarah Kanji, live in South Boston, tracking the new fallout. And right now, a call to action after more than 100 anti-Semitic threats towards Jewish community centers across the country and right here in Massachusetts. The Eye Opener's Katie Thompson is live in Newton with the new move from leaders here. Katie. In Newton this morning, Katie Thompson, WCVB, New Center 5. Katie, thank you. New this morning, the Federal Communications Commission is promising to investigate why AT&T wireless customers could not connect to 911 emergency services for hours. The service was restored late last night. Law enforcement agencies in more than a dozen states detected the outage and reached out to residents on social media offering other ways to contact emergency services. AT&T has apologized for the glitch, but there was no explanation why it happened. Other stories we're following right now with Judge. Time right now, 438 tax refunds deposited into your account and taken right back out. The Department of Revenue explaining the error and when you'll get that money back. Also a big loss for the New Hampshire Motor Speedway, the annual NASCAR race moving out west. The true meaning of perseverance, the touching tale of a dog reunited with his family more than a week after he vanished into the woods. Cindy? And it is a little hard to believe here, but I am. It's back. All eyes on the forecast this weekend before the cold air moves in. Some of us will have snow to contend with. Winter storm warnings up for part of the state. Cindy's back with your full forecast in just four minutes. Meanwhile, a story of hope and survival this morning. A community in California coming to the rescue, reuniting a family with their beloved dog. 12-year-old Sage went blind a few months ago from glaucoma and a tumor. She wandered away from her home from Boulder Creek, California, and got lost in the woods. After eight days without a sighting of the dog, the family was really losing hope. A neighbor who'd seen part of that search effort was on a hike in the woods when he spotted Sage motionless, but still alive. I look over and I see Sage laying on the ground, right, with her head in the stream. I jumped in the spring, I was super happy, and I put my arms around her and hugged her and just threw her on my shoulders and carried her up the mountain. <laughs> Sage Rescuer, who's also a firefighter, says that dog had a strong will to live. And everyone can learn a very important lesson from this story. That lesson is do not give up. No, no. Oh, and my goodness. That it, poor dog. Uh, the poor family, <laughs> oh, too. Oh, my gosh. All right. The comedian best known for his role in Elf is facing some very serious charges this morning. The new surveillance video of Faison Love brutally attacking an airport employee. Also on the eye. A new high-tech system that may signal the future of the trucking industry and the benefits go far beyond the roads. This isn't exactly what we'd call a beach weekend at the beach. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's, no. it's actually, we're going to call it deja vu, okay? Yeah. You remember last weekend, right? Yes. Same sort of thing. But, but we've got wind to get through first cold? today and snow on the way tomorrow. So oh, we've got snow. a lot to talk about. Yes. Uh, first Back after the summer season has ended. Your economy this Thursday morning, the state is having some big problems issuing tax refunds. The state deposited some tax refunds into accounts, but then they took the money right back out the same day. This happened with a batch of refunds deposited on Monday. The Department of Revenue calls this a processing issue, telling us it actually handed out that group of re refunds prematurely and then reversed them. So DOR says... All of those affected will get their refunds back in their accounts by Friday, saying, quote, recognizing the confusion that this could cause, we are moving quickly to complete processing of the refunds, end quote. It is unclear how many taxpayers have been affected. Trending this morning, actor and comedian Faison Love caught on camera in a wild attack as he returned home to an airport in Columbus, Ohio. Look at this. 
He violently grabs a valet, throwing him to the ground and then into the desk. The valet attempted to throw some punches, but somebody quickly jumped in and broke it up. It is still unclear what the valet said that sparked the incident. Love has pleaded not guilty to assault. Wow, all right. Grammy winner Ed Sheeran heading out on a massive tour this summer. Sheeran announced a major North American tour hitting, hitting 46 cities between late June and early October. Featuring his new album, Divide. He'll be playing at the TD Garden on Friday, September 22nd. And then there's this. South Carolina Carolina's viral giraffe mom has delivered her baby boy a few days shy of her due date. Erin Dietrich posting this photo to her Facebook page wearing the now infamous giraffe mask. She says her baby boy Porter Lane is healthy and perfect. As for April the real giraffe, the wait continues for her fourth calf to continue. No word yet on a name. Did she wear that mask during the entire labor process? I think she wears that mask all Probably. the time. Probably. She loves it. Yes. All right. <laughs> the Trump administration taking a hard line on illegal immigration. And it may be working. Ahead in news to go, the new data showing a strong decline in border crossing over the last two months. Also new on the eye opener at 5 o'clock. A different kind of stress eating. The healthy consumption habits that actually help ease anxiety. Welcome back. It's 4.55. Breaking in your early news to go. The president's new travel ban officially has its first challenger, Hawaii. The state filed a lawsuit in federal court arguing the president's revised order will do harm to the state's Muslim population, tourism, and foreign students. The Trump administration's new travel ban is set to go into effect next week. The Homeland Security chief says there has been a 40% decline in illegal border crossing since President Trump took office. Homeland Secretary John Kelly calls the drop unprecedented and notes that it coincides with the president's immigration orders. January and February usually see an increase in illegal border crossings. South Boston's famed St. Patrick's Day Parade is facing major backlash for shutting out an LGBTQ veterans group. Some big sponsors now threatening to pull out of that event for denying the out vets. Or, uh, participation. Organizers will hold an emergency meeting tomorrow to vote again. A bus driver blamed for a grid. Radio Shack CEO says while the chain has made progress and has significantly reduced its expenses, its partnership with Sprint has not been as profitable as expected. Taking a look at the markets, Asian stocks taking a dip in the overnight hours following a jump in energy stocks. Right now, U.S. stock futures are mixed as investors await the weekly jobless claims report. 521 on this Thursday morning. Okay, when many of us get stressed. We head straight for the kitchen. Yeah, but that not, it might not be as bad as you think. When you get there, grab a glass of water. Researchers show you're more anxious when you're dehydrated. It'll also boost your energy level or grill up some fish. A recent study found students who loaded up on omega-3 fatty acids before a big test saw their stress drop 20%. No word on how they did on the grades. And finally... Put on a pot of tea. You see, chamomile tea, that is. The herb is known for its sedative effects. I so want to say sedative. And research suggests it may also help ease anxiety over time if you drink it regularly. So stress eating the leftover mashed potatoes and meatloaf yesterday is not advised. No, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> yes, enjoy it. A special and unusual ceremony for man's best friend. And arts and culture on full display at a city council meeting of all places. Mm, Olesa yes. has those ahead in eye poppers. And new on the eye opener at 5.30. Some new moves for the man at the center of a deadly meningitis outbreak. The request to get the charges dropped. Also breaking right now, a House committee still debating aspects of a Republican health care plan to replace the Affordable Care Act. You're looking live at the House well, Energy and Commerce sure. Committee. The Ways and Means Committee As approved the plan just before 4.30 this morning. Health economists have said that the cost of care by... Inch or too likely around Greater Boston. Antoinette? All right, Cindy, thank you. 525 time for eye poppers. Alessa, what have you dug up for us? Well, an unusual beach wedding. Take a look at this. Some dog owners. They threw a ceremonial wedding for Aww. their dogs. <laughs> Even a pup dressed as a priest attended that service. The owners say they wanted to promote the importance of dogs to society. Those outfits are gold. Those dogs are miserable. <laughs> You're like, get this off and give me a treat. Now. Uh-huh. And whoever said city council meetings had to be dry and boring? Check out this council meeting in Portland, Maine. Members and residents watched as the dancer started an interpretive routine called Shadow Artist. 
She brings down, down bouncing. Doing oh, so oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> Flailing around until she eventually jumped onto a man's lap. And she got a round of applause from the crowd, probably because it was over. Yes. They were very happy. They were like, thank you <laughs> thank for you very being much. done. Please take your seat now. <laughs> Oh, no. Doug? I don't know what to say. <laughs> a nude photo scandal rocking the Marine Corps. Why investigators believe this is just the beginning. Also, a woman in labor injected with heroin. The charges she and another woman are now facing. Newberry Portline. Doug Antoinette. Alessa, thank you. 632, and we're tracking a number of breaking stories right now in the eye. Two juveniles charged overnight with placing explosive devices on commuter rail tracks in Concord. Nobody was hurt, but the dangerous stunt caused major problems during the evening commute. Those juveniles have been summoned to court. Breaking overnight in Providence, Rhode Island, a hazmat team assessing the situation right now after an overnight train accident. Police say this train backed through the gate on Allen's Avenue. Officials on scene say there's no fuel spill, but that road will be closed for quite a while. We have new information on the breaking news we're following out of Afghanistan. ISIS militants have just claimed responsibility for an attack at a military hospital that killed at least four people. Dozens more were injured. A witness says that at least one of the gunmen was wearing a white lab coat. And more breaking news at this hour, a deadly shooting in Lawrence. The eye opener, Sarah Kanji, gathering information for us at the scene. Sarah? Not very spring-like, Doug No, I don't like that one bit. All right, Cindy, thank you, 641. Being eight months pregnant didn't stop a California woman from chasing down a convenience store robber. Oh, she's pretty amazing. Watch her. The California mom, mom-to-be, counting out $2,000 for money orders to pay her rent. That's when the thief makes his move. You see him there grabbing the cash, and then he makes a run for it. But watch there, the victim, she is right behind him. They had a car already ready to go with two other people driving in the front. And um, I grabbed onto the car door as he was yelling like, go, go, go. And I was, all I could really think was, you're not taking my rent money. That's like, my husband just worked so hard for that money. I'm gonna get that money back. Oof. Wow, look at her go there, right? <laughs> Thanks to mom's heroics, the thief dropped most of the cash, making off with just 40 bucks. But I'm going to guess that Neither police nor her doctor no, advised doing that. Not highly recommended. That's yeah, not like recommended, but, you know, she's fine. Yes. So that's all that matters. Okay, we are following several breaking news stories ahead in News to Go. Two juveniles facing new punishment for a bomb scare and a deadly shooting in Lawrence. Plus, a rare white rhino killed inside a zoo. Why investigators are pointing the fingers at poachers. Welcome back, everybody. Preparing for your news to go, so let's look at what it's going to be like when you head out the door. A little wet in spots, especially down there to the south. Cindy tracking that. We also have a live look at the roadways this morning. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, just the penthouse at the Millennium the, Tower. Right. So if you're sleeping in and having somebody deliver your breakfast this morning, uh, make sure they also... Put the galoshes by the door for you as you head out. Yeah. Okay. All right, Cindy, that rain uh, with us through the morning commute. Mm -hmm. But once it moves out, wow, pretty wow. nice today. Oh, yeah, and you can see the backage of the rain. Not too far away, so a couple more hours of this, and then it's out of here, but it is warm outside. We love it. We love it. Love yeah. it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And it's going to be a warm day. It's 50 right now in Boston. Meaning opaque, which is a requirement for hijab wearing women. How's your breakfast going this morning? Patriots QB Tom Brady offering up a look inside his own healthy kitchen to help you reach your quote peak performance. A Needham based meal kit company called Purple Carrot is now selling TB12 performance meals, delivery kits with all you need to cook and eat like Tom Brady. The meals are all based on what Brady eats at home, including plant-based, gluten-free, and high in protein. The service will be $78 a week. Okay, I can imagine Olesa eating the uh, white She's lentil the risotto, <laughs> roasted vegetable, cashew gremolata. I didn't see gummy no. bears on the list. No? Because that's my breakfast today. This is on his off days. No. That is the opposite of the TB12 performance <laughs> diet. Okay. Olesa stepping over diet. That's my diet. Cheez-Its <laughs> and gummy bears. Thank you, guys. So far this morning, it's a little bit busy, especially here along the expressway. Northbound side, we've got those delays. Shine and maybe more snow by Tuesday of next oh, week. Oh, so. oh, oh, did you, you know, say the S word? We spring forward this weekend. <laughs> with uh -huh. the clocks, but Mother Nature is uh, still hanging on to winter, still but I think after today. Oh, yeah. but hey, man. 50s today, enjoy that. We'll yeah. take we it. We will, yeah. and you guys enjoy your uh, two very different diets over this there. This mine. Gummy bears and almonds. <laughs> you can have your almonds. Um, there's a lot and of water in there. Yeah. Halfway there. <laughs> Excuse Doug me, needs to gotta go. go. <laughs> Spot, especially north and west of the city here through mid-morning. Forecast for you, just ahead. Antoinette and Doug.
All right, Cindy, thank you. And now to that breaking news that we have been following all morning long in the Fenway neighborhood. What a mess. The eye opener, Sarah Kanji, tracking progress at the scene of a major water main break in Boston. Sarah? And what a place for it to happen, Doug and Antoinette. Right now, jurors in the Aaron Hernandez case are headed back to court after what the defense is hoping is a bombshell move. The eye opener's Katie Thompson live in Boston with a new effort to get the charges against the former Patriot star thrown out. Katie. Doug, today we are expecting to hear from two surviving victims of that deadly drive-by. WCVB News Center 5. All right, Katie, thank you. New at 6, Casey Anthony opening up about the mysterious death of her daughter nine years ago. The Florida case grabbing international headlines. In an interview with the Associated Press, Anthony insisting she still doesn't know what happened. And I don't to your know. understanding, how did she die? I don't know. You don't know? Something about drowning, possibly? Everyone else has their theories. I don't know. Anthony says the next thing she knew, her daughter Kaylee was missing. She says she feels the public found her guilty long before she had her day in court. And by the way, you may recognize Anthony's defense lawyer was Jose Baez, who's now representing Aaron Hernandez. Police say a little boy was abandoned in the middle of nowhere on a brutally cold night. And this morning, his mother is facing felony. She was found and taken into custody. House Republicans are revealing their plan to dismantle the Affordable Care Act. There is opposition, of course, from Democrats and even some Republicans. The plan gets rid of the mandate that almost all Americans must buy health insurance and out goes the fines if you don't. So here are some of the changes. Instead, there would be tax credits for people who buy health care on the open market. The plan is expected to cover fewer than the 20 million people insured under President Obama's plan. You can get more details about this plan on the WCVB mobile app. President Trump signing a new travel ban based on legal challenges to the first one, but this morning some say it is still essentially a ban on Muslims. The new order replaces the original one, addressing some red flags raised by opponents. Iraq now no longer included in that order, and an indefinite ban on refugees from Syria is scrapped. The new order also gets rid of protections for religious minorities like Christians. The new order goes into effect in nine days. The White House is hoping to avoid the chaos and the confusion seen at airports around the world sparked by that first order. Today, the man caught in sober. Alessa? And we're following breaking. Hi. Good morning from Worcester Academy, a 183-year-old day in boarding school. We take ownership of our learning and become our best selves. Good morning, Good morning Worcester Academy. There are some really talented students at that school, and I will introduce you to a very special one in tonight's A Plus on New Center 5 at 5. He says he wakes up very early in the morning like we do, mm -hmm. but it's to practice for soccer on his ah, own. Wow. wow. That is dedication. Well, we're taking owner of the mornings here. <laughs> and show your school spirit by sending us a wake-up call. Just record it with your smartphone. Upload it to you local by using our WCVB app. Mm -hmm. All right. Busy. Busy start, we'll, we'll yes. Guys, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, shall we start with weather? We should, you know, and I want to show you a three-hour loop, okay? Oh, I love three-hour three loops. Three-hour loop. Watch, watch where <laughs> this goes fours, in three hours. Not the fours, but the threes. It's not really moving. It hasn't made much progress here into southeastern Massachusetts or even eastern Massachusetts. So, a lot of this is drying up on the way eastward, but this pink color here out across Worcester County. Use 191 or 155. So far, the T running on schedule. Doug Antoinette. Alessa, thank you. It's 618. A plan to send more money into cities and towns for pothole repairs is in the works. Ah, but local leaders are saying it's not enough. Governor Baker proposing borrowing nearly $200 million to help repave roads. Now, if passed, the bill would supplement the funds that the state already provides in transportation funding. The proposal falls way short of the steep $300 million in pothole money that communities are actually asking for. The city of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, is considering a ban on plastic bags. Two city councilors are ready to propose an ordinance calling for the sweeping change. At a city council meeting last night, residents on both sides of the issue weighed in. The proposal would stop stores from handing out single-use plastic bags. A public hearing will have to be held before a vote and if it passes it would not take effect for a full year new this morning with costco getting ready to raise membership fees you may be rethinking on so much toilet paper finally don't buy the things that are actually cheaper elsewhere experts say items like produce are usually cheaper on sale at the grocery store and you love the hot dogs yes it's the a bargain dollar, hot it's dollar dogs. 50 for a <laughs> hot dog and a soda so you can't first thing that. you walk in the door 
You're in. It's on my way out. Oh, I take it home. I see, I don't go. I don't okay, know. Okay, a traffic stop like no other. A police officer in Arkansas pulling over a college student for a broken taillight, but it's what Blake Puckett did next to prove his sobriety. Well, it had this officer pretty impressed. Away he goes. You can see him uh, juggling in addition to being a full-time student. Blake is a magi magician. It's just more fun when you can juggle and, and have some fun with the officers instead of just a standard traffic stop that's boring and scary. I try to make as much fun as I can, but this was absolutely the, um, the most fun I've had. Yeah, anytime I'm treated to something like that. Well, the dash cam video of that juggling act has been viewed thousands of times on social media. And by the way, Blake did not get a ticket. He must have known something was up the officer when he pulled him over and saw his plates that said juggler. So he knew that it was Well, yeah, something. he was expecting a show. He was. Come on <laughs> out, kid. Prove it wrong. Well, here we are at 621 on this Tuesday morning and a pregnant mother with a viral spoof and a parking pass that comes with sticker shock. Alessa has those stories in Eye Poppers and then new on the Eye Opener at 630, a transportation transformation, Boston's new plan to ease the city's traffic nightmares. We also have some tough video to watch. A daycare worker off the job this morning will show you what she did on camera that got her fired immediately. Alessa. And we're following. Remember that, remember that spot in Beacon Hill that went for 650000 I don't. I blocked it out of my oh, memory. Yes, but yes. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Doug. How much is the condo that's connected to? Uh, we're going to continue to follow two breaking stories right now on the eye for you. A truck driver trapped by fallen electrical wires. This is happening in Dedham. The new information just coming in from the scene. Also, we've got that mess behind Fenway Park near Brookline Ave, a massive water main break. This is the scene with the water still bubbling from the ground and from the sky. Sky 5 showing you the intersection that has just been a mess with commuters this morning. A live report from the scene just ahead.